Let's go, baby! Yeah! Woo! Yeah! Oh yeah, my god, go. he is moving! He's half I can't dolphin. get over how fast he is swimming. Yeah. Anybody uh, in here? Oh, Jesus Christ. Uh, not anymore. Mazra. The Mazra. Is it real? You tell me. I don't fucking know. <laughs> <laughs> Those footprints look real. This game looks real. It, like, it looks amazing. Oh, yeah. No, the graphics, just right off the bat, really crisp, oh, really man. nice. Almost looks like a movie. Laswell, do we have confirmation? All right, standing by. I'll be honest, it'll be really hard to get comms in that type of terrain. Just, you know, frequencies typically don't do well unless they're super high in very mountainous environments. Right, so, right, right in the middle of that canyon, yeah. Yeah, I mean, you're the radio expert, Izzy. It would probably sound <laughs> like... <laughs> Yeah, even a sad phone, you've got to get the right angle, man. It's good to be up high on terrain. Oh, oh yeah. So. Oh, yeah. Look, Look at that. that. That's our man. That's Ghost. I know. We've been waiting to see this this guy. We're doing some reconnaissance. I mean, we are, I'll be honest, we are very close for reconnaissance here. This is a dangerous. <laughs> Plus, like, you happen to be in the most perfect observation point, meaning if they can, you know, if you could see them clear as day, they can also see you. Right. And typically, like, in re reconnaissance operation, like, there's a lot of planning that goes into it because reconnaissance assets are sent out before the main force. I mean, the whole point of reconnaissance is to gain and collect information intelligence to help the primary force in their mission or whatever objective they're planning. Just being here for, what is it, we've been here a minute? Uh, <laughs> yeah, it would most likely in real life look like a two-day, three-day operation where you're just sitting in an OP with really high-powered optics and cameras and just you know, collecting as much information as possible. Copy approved. Uh -oh. Saudi, uh, I love how they have these kind of disguised weapons platforms, missile platforms, just disguised as like trailers. Mm. Oh, shot out. That was accurate, though. The shot out call. Typically, if you're calling for fire on any objective, uh, when they fire, they're going to give you that call saying shot out, and you respond back as the observer. No, yeah, they should have said shot over, and you say shot out. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah. Gotcha. Confirm that you know it's coming. And then before it comes impact, they'll say splash over. You'll say splash out. It's coming. Here we go. Observe. Boom. Boom. That's a little Boom. close for that. If, for those munitions. Man. Direct. Target destroyed. All right, now Ghost is giving his BDA. He's observing. He's the main observer on the ground. Looks like it was good hits. All right, Modern Warfare 2, we made it. Modern Warfare also. Several months later in a nondescript government building. Come in. Shepard! Kill him! Kill him now before he betrays us! Well, I know that one. Oh, this guy's been around a long time. I like that actor. Are we at war? No ranger tab. What are you doing with your career there, Shepard? We have a hit on Gabrani second in command. God, they're well funded and unpredictable. They're always planning something, aren't they? Always up to something. Supplying terrorists. He's not in Iran, sir. He's on the ground. He's not in Iran. Uh, what the H E double hockey six is going on? It's, I wish it was that easy. Task Force 141. Who do you have? Send me. Mm. Hey, hey, there he is. So me, nice. Soapy McToby. Toby. 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 Nice. Toby. Squad nods, bro. <laughs> He either looks bored or really relaxed. Is that school general issue? I know, super relaxed. <laughs> Task Force 141, one, 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 you can uh, wear pretty much whatever you want. Yeah, you can wear complete jeans, you know, on objective. <laughs> Who needs cries, you know, with built-in knee pads? Nope, jeans all the way. 511 tactical jeans, we're fine. Is that Zac Efron? Look like it. Mm -hmm. All right, coming in. Man, it's already popping off. All right, yep. I'll be honest, you wouldn't. <laughs> you would not be able to hear anything he would be saying inside that bird unless he was <laughs> right. screaming at the top of so his lungs. And then someone yeah, would be like, so what? What did you say? The only time you can really hear anything in a bird is unless you're connected on PTT. And then that, you only can talk to people that are connected to PTT. And there's only so many of them. Yeah. All right, moving in. Night vision looks amazing. It does. Yeah, I got the white phosphorus nods. I mean, they're quad tubes, so it better look good. <laughs> Spending 45 grand on a one piece of night vision. <laughs> Incoming, flare, flare. We're coming. Incoming. Uh oh, uh oh. Flares, flares, flares. Uh oh. Keep it spread out, guys. Keep good V formation. Oh no, God, never mind. Just a rerun. Engine room going down. 
going down. We're going down. Oh no, they know it's going down, so they gotta move. Yeah, one of our birds already went down. Yeah. Yeah, we got to assess the situation. We can't just run in there like chickens with our head cut off. We got to tactically plan this. All right, take a drink of water. You know, I don't think you'd be able to look through that optic with your night vision like that, especially without a riser on it, because you know. Right, because you got the knots hold it or a bit away from your head, and you got to hold the the uh, the rifle up right there. Yeah, I mean, technically, that's why most of the time we utilize lasers in conjunction with our night visions in order to aim. I mean, you can totally utilize something called passive aiming, which is you're looking through your reticle, like your red dot with your night vision but that requires you to have it on a higher mounted you know platform for your optic because you need to compensate for the amount of space the nods takes on your face you know usually with magnified optics they would have either a thermal attached in front or night vision attached in front but yeah you wouldn't typically be able to see you know we stand right in front of the door but uh here you go nice he's making quick work of this room Moving up to Bravo level, maybe uh, take your night vision off. Yeah, it's getting a little bright in there, a little bright. Good uh, good clearing, he's kind of uh, yeah. peeking around the corners, flying off the corners. Oh. That's a closed door still, there could be a threat behind there. Yeah, you don't just leave that behind, man. Video game knows where the action is. Yeah, the video game will always put you, put you where you need to be. <laughs> the fun thing about the Modern Warfare series, especially the reboot in this one, is putting you in very action movie type scenarios, you know, where it's gonna lead you on a... Yeah, it's like a Michael Bay film. Yeah, it's like a Michael Bay. It's gonna lead you on a journey of action and mayhem and destruction. All right, here we go. All right, pushing. This dude is pushing hard. All right, yeah, get behind that. Yeah, hard, but just leaving his guys behind. Yeah, throwing some frags. Let's go. Frag this thing up. Oh, nice frag, dude. Ooh, pretty. Nice. All right, pushing up, pushing up. You're gonna, you can take your nods off yeah, now if you want to now. Yeah, there, there, you, go. Go, there you go. Moving internal. Uh-oh, oh, murder hole. Yeah, I like that. Good detail with everything. Oh, that's ghosts. So you gotta be really cautious with, you know, friendly fire. You got a PID. We call PID is positive identification. You know, you gotta make sure before you just kill everything in the room, you gotta make sure it's either armed or they could possibly be friendly like what we just saw. So positive identification, always looking at the hands. Makes it a little harder under night vision just cause everything's a little bit, you know, harder to see. Uh-oh. Oh. They're shooting through that wall, dude. Nice, got his ass. Push in, push in. You go to the balcony. Uh oh. Ugh. Self aid. Can you give yourself self aid there, buddy? Because before you. Oh. <laughs> oh, flashbang. Yeah, you wouldn't just, you know, even though your buddy got shot right in front of you, you wouldn't just immediately start working on him. You yell out to him, hey, can you administer self aid? Oh, yeah, she was going for the gun. So. Oh, she picked it up. She picked it up. Yep, she's a threat. Yeah, you would say, can you administer self aid to yourself? And then continue to push past because, you know, we can't administer aid unless all the threats are cleared from that objective. Because otherwise, you're just waiting for another guy to get hit because you're not focused on the fight. They say the best medicine on the battlefield is fire superiority. Um, so, you know, clear that objective. And then after you got it clear and secure, then you can, you know, establish the CCP or establish a, uh, yeah. Steps CCP and make sure he gets the aid he needs with the platoon sergeant and medic there on standby. Yeah, CCP casualty collection point. Get your gun on that train, aren't they? Oi, 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 oi. Oh, here they come. Tap them, dude. Yeah, there you go. Watch out for that barrel, though. You would uh, be shooting the thing right in front of you. It's called right. hide over board, dude. Uh oh. That's good go back in the fight. You know, it's funny, the whole mounted thing is not something I did a lot of training with. We trained with it somewhat, but uh, it's really a big feature in, in the gunfighting in this game. Coming in both sides here. Yeah. Ooh, man. Mark 18, let's go. Not in a good spot. Hey, brother, you got a, you got a 40 mic mic on there. Why don't you start using it? <laughs> reload. Uh, L-shape reload. Nice. The thing I really appreciate about, like, the Modern Warfare, especially in the campaign, they actually take, like, new tactics and different reload styles that have been, you know, starting to be adopted in the modern era and actually translate them to, uh, you know, their gameplay. For example, that tactical reload, you know, he's utilizing that L-shape instead of just, like, dumping the mag on the ground. That way you can can maintain positive you can maintain positive connection of that magazine you can throw it back in a pouch reload it later because i mean you know if you're just dropping mags on the ground and putting new ones in especially in a firefight a high stress environment chances are you're not going to pick that sucker up and when it's time to reconsolidate reorganize you're going to have one less magazine so it's really important to start you know especially for my shooters out there and my gun guys really start this it's really important to start practicing tackle reloads instead of emergency reloads real Boom, smooth that dude was racking them up yeah easy yeah Nice. Love it, man. Still got one more, dude. Nice. Drop him. 
Two more. Three more. Oh, don't peek out too much. Nice. Finish him. This guy's a lot more calm than I would be, than I was Finish when him. I played through in this situation. <laughs> it's <laughs> good. It's good at creating that chaos. All right. We need those guns. Hold them off for about 30 seconds now. Now, there they come. Where are those guns at? We need that air support. Ooh, let's get that air support there, buddy. Ooh, yeah. <laughs> Danger close. Let's send it. There it is. Let's go. Let's go, baby. Yeah. Woo. Yeah. Let's take that. I like that a lot. Yeah, get down there, friend. Get down. Let them do their job. He's so excited. So exciting. Don't move into the area. Yeah, man, no problem. Our game player is, I like he does a little juking and jiving back and forth, you know, little, the little shimmy. Let's go get a sprinter. Whoa, language. Yeah. Harsh language makes you shoot better. It does. It's also a level of intelligence. I get some illumination from the top. <laughs> Those who cuss more tend to have higher IQ. Right. <laughs> yeah, move up to that objective. Let's go. Pretty sure that's building three we're moving on. Yeah, right. Oh, man. Cover and seal position to cover and conceal position. Let's freaking go. So oh, sniper. Uh oh, yep, they got. I mean, the one thing with fighting conventional forces is that, you know, you have all this equipment, but that means probably so do they. So, you know, what we typically saw in Afghanistan fighting, you know, an unconventional force was they weren't properly equipped. So, like, moving on them under night was, you know, the preferred method, but all that changes once you start going up against a conventional force. Near peer, they call it. Yeah. They, they got what we have, they have they're on the rooftops good shot my friend oh got ripped up on that one hey, i'm not gonna say i died a lot at this part i did but we could probably imply it. i would this is chaotic boom good shot yeah we can't level this building we haven't been inside of it yet let's go utilize you know shoot bound cover shoot bound cover yeah can't stay in the same place for long no we gotta bound aggressively up here serpentine serpentine three to five second rush I'm up, he sees me, I'm down. And then start shooting so your buddy can do the same thing. Yeah, utilizing individual movement techniques. This is, you know, this is where this training comes in super handy. And this is where cardio is so important. <laughs> All right, we're pushing, we're pushing. Dead or alive, you're coming with me. Yeah, at this point. Yep, okay, they're establishing 36 security on the outside. All right, we got some eyes in. Probably throw a banger. Throw, probably would throw a banger. Hey! Oh, so many areas you get shot from. I love it. All right, take that open door right there. Boom, oh, bro. Uh, that was your fault, buddy. You should have uh, been paying attention. You deserve to get shot in the head. Can we go in here or what? Can he? No, it's locked. locked. Well, guess what? That's why we have shotguns. That's why we have ballistic breaching and mechanical breaching. We can get it in anywhere. <laughs> so it's like I helped. Switching to your secondary is always faster than <laughs> reloading. <laughs> reloading. <laughs> Maybe he was about to give you a hug. You don't know that. One iced. Nice, nice, nice. Only move as fast as you can accurately engage targets. We're looking good. What do we got here? Look, Hassan's uniform. How do you know it's Hassan's uniform? <laughs> Stinks like it's Hassan. It smells like goat turd. Oh, using that multiplayer techniques, getting the pro drop shot. Boom, ripped him. There you go. Yeah, throw that frag. Let's see how they like them apples. Ah, <laughs> nice. Our buddy definitely knows what he's doing. Good smooth yeah. gameplay. Yeah, no, he, this is a good run. This is a great run, actually. Missiles. Some That's why we just don't touch oh, things, man. Miles. Oh, man. Yeah, just don't, don't touch it. Miles. Somebody had to tell that Marine they go a thousand miles. There's no way he would have remembered that. <laughs> we love our Marines. Take a look at this. What do you mean, American weapons in enemy hands? How the hell? Do they the have American meat? All right, time to go into SSC phase of this American. operation. Start taking pictures, man. All right, clear the room. Meanwhile, back in a cushy office in Washington. Let's go, everybody out, now. Do you have a Ranger tab? Oh no? Then shut the Quack. up. <laughs> It's not going to be a tactical one. There will be 500 enemy soldiers uh, on that I'm side sorry. I've noticed a distinct we lack of shooting in the fast. scene. I'm trying to do some storytelling here. This isn't why I bought this <laughs> game. <laughs> Where is Price? Where's Price right now? That's what I want to know. The captain. The captain. He's been a captain for He's the last. There you go. There's our boy. He's been a captain for the last 30 years of his career. He's like Top Gun <laughs> Mavericks, uh, like but with Maverick, guns. Yeah. I want this done right. No mistakes. Can't do Watch something them. right, you gotta do it yourself. Okay. Girls, get it done. I want Hassan boxed up and gift wrapped. 
until then, you keep this tight. It's so tight. Keep it super tight. I do Kegels. Let's get after it. The boonie stays on during sex time. <laughs> oh, missed it. Wait, 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 let's do it again. Oh, no, we didn't. We're on it. Just being towed by this boat. How long you hold your breath? If that boat only knew who they were towing, they'd be a lot more proud to sail on those seas. Boonie, always staying on. Always. The boonie's always on. It must be like paper clipped or like clipped onto his head or something. <laughs> I think he actually had it surgically implanted into his head. Sure, I'm saying he must have some like, you know, soft side Velcro just like taped to his bald head and then like the hard side <laughs> stitched on the inside. Yeah, he underneath his hat, he just has another hat. Clean up ducks. Stay quiet. Sure. That was, I mean, yeah. Sounds like a good plan, dude. <laughs> I hope they have fins on. Oh, it was about to not be quiet, but uh, good suggestion for it. They don't have any like, they don't have any like Drager, like rebreathers or something. They're just swimming in. <laughs> I hope they have fins on. Oh man, Olympic level swimming. Oh, obviously he does. Yeah, look at how fast he's going. This dude's moving, oh man. Yeah, they saw you, man. That's what, my favorite takedowns are when you're on the water and you come up and you surface and you pull them down with you. Makes you feel so good. Mm -hmm. Drown them. Taking it out of the life and drowning. Drowning the life out of them. Kill them with kindness. On top side. Don't stay up there for long. Well, Price said don't be topside too long, man. You've been topside very long. That's a long time to be topside. Oh, yeah. He is so quick. Oh, my God. That's a, it's leaps and bounds, this guy. Good job, Gaz. Gaz has been doing a lot of training in the offseason. Oh, you got a couple more over there. You only got two rounds and another mag. I like the uh, the swimming. I don't remember if we did a lot of swimming in the last game in the reboot in 2019. We got two rounds there, pal. Oh, just so happens everybody has suppressed pistols. <laughs> they're, they're, they're the video game suppressed where it's like whoop, whoop, whisper quiet. Pop up on them, bro. Yeah, you got you get those those massive stroke lengths. And I didn't know one of the requirements to be on 141 was to, to swim like a six minute 500 meter. <laughs> oh, Lord. Get underneath, dude. Go underwater. Oh, no. Oh, man. He's been exposed. Oh, good shot. Now he's out of ammo. But you're out of ammo. What are you going to do? Going to go back to the magical throwing knives that kill one shot, one kill throwing knives. All right. Let's see if you got some pistol ammo. Yep. I guess you do. Everybody's got suppressed pistols. This is a very well-funded fighting force. There is no budget. Budget? What's that? They might want that. Familiar with these. Oh, very lightly familiar with the Zodiacs. I was on a boat team for a little bit of my time when I was in. I, I did see. a little bit of I did a little bit of training with them with fins in a pool environment, but I didn't stick around long enough to do any boat training. Yeah, we had some uh, some Zodiac training in Ranger School in Florida Phase, but they didn't give you engines. We had to paddle them. <laughs> oh, it sounds like Ranger. It sounds like Ranger School. Yep. Oh yeah, my god, go. he is moving! He's half I can't dolphin. get over how fast he is swimming. Yeah, and not to mention, if he's going topside, that means he doesn't have fins on because, like, you cannot walk. Yeah, he like you cannot flop, walk. Flop, fins. Flop, flop. Yeah, flop, 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 flop. See anybody? See anybody? Oh, we got a little uh, troll going on over there. Let me just jump with my fins on. <laughs> he's sniping. He's sniping with that uh, submachine gun. Well done, Mike. That guy with the pistol at that range, I love it. No, that's, that's Captain, Captain Price! Price. Shoot. How dare you shoot? That's an instant court martial. If you shoot Captain Price, instant court martial. Instant jail time. Gates locked. Okay, you got bolt cutters? Okay, coming on the boat. Where did CQB on a boat before? Yeah, that's a big Navy thing. Navy and Marine thing is uh, mm. maritime operations. Maritime operations. Nice. Nice finisher, Price. That was clean. Mexican cartel. The hell are they doing? Good ink, man. Ooh, what are the uh what's the cartel doing in Amsterdam? Mm, the plot thickens. <laughs> it's Pablo. Anybody uh, in here? Oh Jesus Christ. Uh, not anymore. Ah, yeah. Ah, good finisher. I like that. I like that. <laughs> One more for good measure. You got a cell phone. Oh, look at that little shot in the face. Hell yeah. Watching TikToks. <laughs> it's got an OnlyFans page. Or maybe it was watching Shift Fire. Or tuning well. into the Pop Culture Field Manual well. podcast. <laughs> or watching me on twitch.tv slash my happy self. Or shopping online at kickgodapparel.com. Oh, yes. Christmas shopping. 
Any thoughts on what we saw here? The beginning, it looks like the beginning acts of Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2. A pretty epic opener. Just like you said in the beginning, it's like they do such a good job of making these campaigns so action oriented. It's like you're watching or participating in a Michael Bay film. So, you know, yeah. Call of Duty's been so good at doing that in almost all their games. So just to sit back and watch it unfold. And plus, whoever was playing did a awesome job. So yeah, I had an awesome time watching this gameplay. What about you, buddy? Man, it just looks so amazing. And now it, I feel like the team is together. Task Force 141, Ghost is in the action. Everybody's like, they're on their way. Like the team is ready and uh, we are in for some amazing adventures in the future, I feel. Absolutely. If you like these videos, head on over to Gameology's Facebook and YouTube page for more amazing content. And if you want to hang out with Izzy and I some more, go ahead and check out Shift Fire on YouTube or Facebook. You can also catch us on the Pop Culture Field Manual podcast. Till next time, folks. We'll see you.